everyone. Today I'm coming at you with my magical kit binder, which I've had done for a while, but I recently reorganized. I don't know if I ever even did like a video showing y'all this binder. If I did, I'll link it down below. Um, but it hasn't changed too much since my original um, organization, which was basically pre-pandemic because I was going to Disney a lot and I was like, I need a binder specifically for magical things, which honestly is sad every time I look at it because I have not used much from this binder unless I've watched a Disney movie and it's just sad. So I do have some vinyls on here um, just to kind of decorate. I do want to add more. I have tons of Disney vinyls. I just am lazy, but I'll get there eventually. This is a, I believe an inch and a half binder. Um, if it gets any bigger, I'll probably have to get a new one. How do I measure? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna say an inch and a half binder. If I got this on Amazon, I'll link it down below. I think I might've got it on Walmart. If I can find it, I'll link it down below or I'll link something similar. Um, and this is all magical items. So Disney inspired items, that's basically it. So let's go through this binder. It's definitely going to be a little bit easier to explain. I think that my base binder, which is just, it all makes sense up here, but it doesn't make sense when it comes out. So over here is just one thing that I have, and this is an underlay from Planet Hannah, which is the Pirate's Life underlay, which I have big plans to use this with a kit. So I'm putting it right here so I don't forget about it, which I don't think I could forget about it because the kit is just made perfect for it, so leaving that there. Then if we move on to the actual contents, basically what I did here is different than the base as far as like mindset goes, um, but also not, I guess. So let's just get into it. So basically how I have, basically, basically, I'm so sorry. That's my like, my word that I stick to. Um, I have this organized by foil and then characters. So we'll go through the foil first and then move into the characters. I actually feel like it would probably make more sense to have the characters on top, but here we are. I don't feel like switching it. So how I have it organized is gold, silver, hollow, sparkly hollow. They're not at all combined in any way. And again, I feel like that works because whenever I am doing a magical spread, I know what foil color I'm using. I can just look in that section, especially when it comes to like full box overlays and stuff. Like things I only have one of, it's like way easier to find it this way. Also like my Plan of Hannah on, um, overlays, like it's just easier this way. So the first page here, and I have them all done almost exactly the same way, except for Sparkly Hollow, because in my shop, I don't offer a lot of the magical items in Sparkly Hollow, so there's less. So I'll show you that one, but Gold, Silver, and Hollow are all organized the exact same way. The only difference would be is some of like the Plan Hannah things, I only have like one of, versus buying all of them, I just bought like a random like bottom washi in gold, bottom washi in silver, bottom washi in hollow in different designs. So the first one here is the movies. Eventually I do want to come out with a fourth one. So I left this one blank, but I have the four different movies here. I actually decluttered the Marvel ones because it's probably just not going to happen for me. Then I have um, non-SPC. Actually, this is SPC. Is this all non-SPC? Do I have SPC stuff in here or is it all everything? It might be everything. Okay, so never mind. Yeah, it's everything. So this is all like base stuff. So I have, um, this is my bottom wash overlay. So I have it the same as my base where I have like the one design and the other design back to back. This is a Planet Hannah one, so it's different. So I've kept it over here. This is like non um, SPC stuff. So the Crest Press um, header overlays. And then I have the SPC stuff. It kind of makes sense to have these switched, but it's fine for now. Cause then it would be like SPC. Actually, I'd probably switch these to each. Cause this one's thick, so I don't really want it on the inside. Actually, would it make more sense to have that on the inside? I don't know. Um, so we have SPC then, and then non-SPC. So most of these are caress, or these actually do have some SPC in them. I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess that's probably why I had it that way, but we'll just leave it. So I have quote box overlays, or like overlays that aren't these ones. So basically anything else. So I quote box overlays and regular full box overlays. And then this is just magical non-SPC or not magical, like specific, I don't know. You know, you know what I mean. Then I have my Plan of Hannah stuff. So basically I have this in a two pocket, the rest are four pockets, I'll leave everything linked down below. The pockets themselves are always linked in my Amazon favorites because I feel like they're just like a good staple. 
So I think that whenever I ordered these, I might have ordered all three foils for them. I just does Hannah have like a sparkly hollow adjacent? I always want to be like Hannah, please just bring a sparkly hollow adjacent because I feel like she has like a shattered, but I don't think a sparkly or it's not like tiny. It's like big. I don't know. And then also like find a lavender hollow and champagne lights and a matte bronze because that'd be really cool to have all those. Um, but yeah, I think I ordered all the foils. So these are all like little deco bits, which I feel like you could use as a full box or you could cut out and use them. So I thought those were very like universal and then I have quote and then the um what are those called quote and quote and signatures also a good fun fact is you could also put these in like this it would be tight if you have a lot like this is probably like eight six to eight sheets and it just fits really tight but plan a hannah these do fit in the four if you want them to they're just too tall but it's it's a good option if you didn't want to buy these you could do it that way you could do like separate them and then do other quote boxes on top i think that'd be cute as well so i have those and then i have so it's basically kind of like more general and then it moves into park so like you have the movies and stuff and then it moves into like more park specific things um which kind of makes sense because then like you know i might do like magical spreads and not use Magical spreads and still use magical items, but not use park specific items. Sorry, Nick's calling me. Um, but yeah, I think that this works out. I have the two different, um, what are these called? Bucket lists from my shop. And then I have a bunch of different icons here. Not only my icons, but Planet Hannah and the Sticky Committee icons and Sparkly Paper Co. And then I have Deco, which has Simply Watercolor Co. And mine in them. One second. Boy texts me, do you want long john silvers? The answer is always yes. So um, back to me not being like, I feel like whenever I get like a text or a phone call in a video, I'm just like, what do they need? My mind goes and then my, my words turn to vomit. So we, again, we have the um, bucket list, icons, and deco. And then over here I have even more park specific. So these are my like little thing size labels, which I cannot wait to use. It's I don't, I think I came out with, or I like sent them to be like manufactured whenever I was like, oh, it's going to slow down. I'm going to be able to go to Disney sometime. No. And also got pregnant. So, um, really excited to use these. I've seen so many people use them. They're so cute. They're perfect for little thing size, which just like makes sense whenever you're going to Disney because you mostly want to mark a lot of stuff. So I have the four different parks up here, the rides, and then I have the countdown to Disney, which I will definitely use whenever I have like some kind of date, hopefully the end of this year, maybe. And then I also have the parks and then the um, hotels, like the four like main hotels um, in there as well in different designs and different shops and things like that i had some custom ones made and just one day we'll be able to use them then we move on to silver again we have the movies we have the like base type items we have the plana hannah stuff so you can see i have like different ones in here then i have the bucket list the icons and the deco the little thing labels as well as the um like park specific these ones are little things on top but there's other ones in here um let me actually show you just in case you're in the market for some so i have these ones from my shop but i also have these ones from my shop so it kind of just depends on what you're going for what kind of space you have these are perfect for a little thing and also have different stuff like who is here i don't know who this is um hold on okay i'm back um, so, uh, like I said, I have the ones from my shop and then I have these ones from Adorable Amy Designs. I have these ones from the Pretty Pink Coat and then Letters to Apollo. These are both, and these Adorably Amy, Amy Designs ones that say Disneyland. Um, these ones are all custom. I believe that this shop, the Pretty Pink Coat and Adorably Amy Designs do offer customs, but Letters to Apollo does not. But I mean, I feel like maybe we can get her to do like some Disney scripts. That'd be pretty cool. Then there is regular hollow again, same setup here. Again, like you can see, this is like a different design throughout. Then I have the plan of Hannah overlays, the icons, the bucket list, the little things and others. 
and then I have sparkly hollow which I only have two sleeves for so basically I just have the magic um, ones from my shop because they do come in sparkly hollow and then I just have the icons from my shop those are the only ones I have in sparkly hollow um, but those are perfect for little things and then also like fancy labels and then again a little bit smaller of a selection here I do have um, the four park um, rides as well as the countdown and then I have just a couple different sparkly hollow ones um, you can also order these ones from adorably Amy designs in single sheets so that's another option if you go to like one park a lot um, or if you want to mark one bigger all the time and then we'll move in to um, what's it called move in to like doodles icons characters things like that so basically my thought process here was that I wanted to do my icons first. I don't really have a specific way that I wanted to organize them yet, like separate them. I know that I'll probably have like two or three sections, um, but I know that um, this one here I wanted to do and I totally forgot, so I'm just doing it real quick. I have this little um, Simply Gilded album and I keep all of my limited edition foils in here. I probably, I've said before, will um, reorganize them in like rainbow order eventually and probably also need like another album as we have more. Um, but I wanted to take all of page one, which are all like Disney doodles and put those in here because obviously I'm going to be using them with Disney spreads only and I can check through all of these as I go and that is how I store those. And usually whenever I have a spread, I'll pull it out and see if any of the colors match. Um, but I just wanted to put all of those in here as well on the like SPC page. So I just have all of our doodles, which basically one through like 80 or 90 is all like magical inspired doodles. And a lot of them are custom um, and they're in the pastel colorway. And then this has the, lim um, the limited edition page ones, which are all Disney doodles. I was thinking maybe for this one, even I could like, you know, like with Bath to Bound or something, they have those doodle sheets like leftovers. Maybe I could put in here. So they're like a little more specific, but like, let's say something has like a similar colorway. Bath to Bound would be a little bit hard for like matching other Disney spreads. Um, but like a lot of the other ones that are like purple and pink won't be. So I can put like the leftovers in here. Then I have other character stickers. So basically the way that I organize these is I, and I wanna do like little labels for them. I'm just gonna have like curse and print and cut them for me. I have park, which this one is park specific. And then this is like general park. So this would be like, I have a lot of different shops. I'm not gonna go through them all. Um, this would be park specific. So it has like Disneyland specific stuff, like stuff specific at a park. And then this is all very like park, but very general. So things that they have at like all of the parks um or like i don't know like just just one way of separating them there's really no other reason otherwise they would just be all together as like a park section but just to keep them separate because they are quite thick i try and find something in the category that i can easily divide them in half and that was like park specific versus non-park specific then i have kind of like um this one here has like uh what did i call this one this one is going to be classic disney so anything that doesn't fit in the other categories as far as characters go because I have a Pixar category. So this will be all different Pixar movies from all different shops. And then I have a princess section. Um, so this is princess once more with love. And then this will be princess everybody else because there is so many different princess sheets that I needed something to separate them and it was once more with love versus other. Then I have Marvel. I only have two sheets, but I figured I'd separate those out and then a Star Wars section. So those are the character stickers. And then I have some two section pages. These I made myself a long time ago. They have the old um, font, but I made these ones for Jessica. They're like Marvel ones. And then I had the little baby Yoda ones. And then I have some like princess ones and the, these i just found on etsy i think just like the art and then i have some like more princess ones here super cute and then i have another two page one of um specific characters these are just like larger sheets that i can't fit into the other ones so these are like specific characters um a lot of pretty sheepy and then this is park specific or other so love that so that's everything for my magical binder i did used to have my magical kits in here but i have so many that i ended up just putting them with my regular kits and my regular kits are stored in one of these container store bins 
Um, and basically I have this stored. These are like my ideas. So like here's like my February idea, my March idea, and then my April ideas and then like other. And then I have, um, sorry if you can hear that. Um, then I have Odd Loop, Once More With Love, Crest Press, and then just like a random Harriet Wright Designs, which is a magical um, kit. And then these are all like loosely organized. Like I do have all of my like magical kits from my shop like right here that I want to use. Um, but that's everything. I do have other kits too. They're just stored elsewhere because that's like less likely to use them, but I still want to have them. But those are like ones that's like my other ones would be like my deep hoard as Jess would call it and then these would be like I'm probably going to use eventually so no. there's a couple in there like my post Malone one my original wedding kit like I just have in there I could probably move into my depot but I also kind of like looking at them every once in a while and reminding myself that they exist so that is everything <laughs> for this um binder if you have any suggestions of like things you like think would be a good idea let me know if you have any magical items that you have found on the internet from small businesses that are like sticker related that i don't have that you're like andre you need these let me know in the comments down below because i'm always looking for more magical items to spice up my spreads but that is everything for this video i hope that y'all like it and found some inspiration otherwise i'll talk to you in my next one